Welcome back. I've prepared you a tasty treat. Yeah, delicious steamed loot. Go on, tuck in. Right, now it's time for the main course. Yes, a new season is here. Destiny 2 season of the deep. So here's 10 facts about this new season. 10. Now we return to Titan for season of the deep. And this teaser is packed with info. As you can see, Commander Sloan returns and check out her right arm. It's like she's been infected by the Taken. We also see three guardians floating in the sea. Now here's a closer look. This armor will be available in the season pass. Now here's where it gets really weird. Our guardians are chilling with their new pet, a massive sea monster. I mean, it does look kind of cute. Nine. Nine. For the first time ever, we'll be going under the sea and here's one of the brand new destinations we'll be exploring. Eight. Eight. At last, in Season of the Deep, we can finally rotate weapons and get a proper good look at them. Same applies to ships. Rotate them at your leisure. It's a long overdue little quality of life improvement. Seven. Seven. Enemy shields now look different. This is how the old shields used to look and this is how the new shields now look. It's purely aesthetic and will not change the gameplay in any way. Six. Six. Season of the Deep's brand new dungeon launches Friday, May 26. This dungeon's weapons will have a new perk, Restoration Ritual. And here's what it does. It reloads weapons upon reviving allies or finisher kills. This also readies an emergency reload the next time any weapon runs out of ammo. Bonus, Bonus entry. entry. This is an exotic engram. This is an exotic shard. Both contain loot. But only shards can be found in the game Raid. Raid. Shadow Legends. So yeah, crack open these shards to get champions. There's 700 unique champs to collect. Once you have a champ, jump into one of the game modes. If you're getting roasted in the campaign, level up until you can one-shot bosses. Okay. Then use your rewards to pimp your champ and say hello to Raid's biggest ever update. If you click here on the home screen, you can watch the first episode of Raid's new YouTube series. And I gotta say, it's gloriously brutal. Trust me, this guy deserved it. Watch the episode and you'll understand why. He's a nasty piece of work. And you can now play this new champ in game for free. All you gotta do is log in for seven days between now and July 24th and he's yours. And check it out, new players get all this loot worth $30 for free. Simply scan the QR code or click the link in the description description box and join my clan more console there's still a few spare slots nice one five for the first time ever there's no pinnacle cap increase in season of the deep yeah the pinnacle cap remains 1810 so if like many players you've already hit this cap well there's less grinding for you however this also means that pinnacle drops become well a bit pointless if you've already hit 1810 why bother grinding pinnacle rewards capped to 1810 right well bungie's replacing the weekly pinnacle drops in vanguard gambit and crucible playlists as well as other activities with with exotic drops. Now, these aren't your regular exotic drops. They are new focusable exotic drops, which brings me nicely onto my next point. Four. Four. Say hello to focusable exotic armor engrams. Now, in Season of the Deep, exotic engram drops no longer automatically decrypt. They now sit in your engram inventory, waiting for you to focus them with Master Raul. Now, there are three ways you can focus an exotic engram. You've got your basic exotic decryption, just like the good old days. You get a random exotic armor piece from the loot pool, and it costs you nothing to decrypt. Next up is tier 1 decryption. You'll receive a random exotic armor piece from an expansion of your choice. This will cost you 1 exotic engram, 30,000 glimmer, and 1 ascendant shard. And finally, tier 2 decryption, which allows you to choose the exact exotic armor piece you want. This costs 1 exotic engram, 60,000 glimmer, 3 ascendant shards, and 1 exotic stifer. Now, it's worth noting that you can't get new pieces of exotic armor from focusing. You'll need to grind the Vex Strike Force public event or solo master loss sectors for new exotic armor pieces. Three. Three. This is Season of the Deep's ritual weapon, Last Rite. It's the kinetic Tex Mechanica scout rifle and here's its ornaments. Two. Check out the shiny new Trial Shader, which is only available to players who go flawless during Season 21. And I've got to give a special mention to my favorite PvP scout rifle, Randy's Throwing Knife, which is finally returning in Season of the Deep. I've missed you, old pal. One. There's a new Lightfall quest in Season of the Deep. You'll learn more about the Veil and get some genuinely awesome rewards. You need to visit the Puka Pond in Neomuna to start this quest, and your rewards for completing it are three new aspects and a new hand cannon. Let's have a look at the aspects first. The new Hunter Aspect Threaded Spectre allows you to leave behind a decoy that draws the attention of nearby enemies. And then it explodes, releasing Threadlings. This definitely gets a yes from me. The Titan Aspect Fletchet Storm allows you to perform a sliding melee attack that damages nearby enemies and launches you into the air. While airborne, you can spam your melee to fire strand projectiles. The Warlock Aspect The Wanderer transforms your tangles into an explosion that suspends nearby enemies. And I've got to say, this is such a useful aspect to have. And here's the Hand Cannon you'll 
will also earn for completing this quest. And yes, it's the same hand cannon seen in Lightfall's promotional work as held by the hunter here. Now, as well as everything we've just talked about, Season 21 is also tuning 17 exotic weapons, 24 exotic armor pieces, and many supers and abilities. You'll find all these changes in the description box below, which leaves me with one last thing to say. We're coming for you, Commander Sloan. To any guardians listening, this is Deputy Commander Sloan requesting emergency support.